Welcome to the CUDA system. I am Admiral Tuvok of the USS Voyager. I will provide tactical assistance on this mission. Thank you. Your meteoric rise through the ranks is well known to me as well. Sensors indicate the division between normal and fluidic space is thinner here, making crossing much easier. The Undine have used this location in the past. We will use it now. The majority of the fleet will remain here to protect this area. Our team will enter fluidic space, locate, and then survey the board presence there. If possible, we will destroy it. When you are ready, Voyager will open the Singularity. We have made a successful transition into fluidic space. Unlike our own, this dimension is filled with an organic fluid. The main indigenous life form is species 8472. Sensors are detecting a Borg signature nearby. Your vessel will take the lead in the investigation. We will follow. examining the data on the interplexing beacons, and we believe we may have discovered a vulnerability in the Borg subspace carrier wave technology. If it's acceptable to you, I would like the Venture to remain here and run some tests while you investigate the signal. We may not get another opportunity. This landmass is unique in fluidic space. It is not a planet by Starfleet definitions. If I had to categorize it, I would say it is similar to the coral reefs found in Earth's oceans. The ground itself is a framework for living creatures. Fascinating. We are detecting a number of ships in the area. Starfleet, Klingon Defense Force, Romulan Republic, 
even Ferengi and Cardassian. Most species from the Alpha and Beta quadrants appear to be represented. I never should have come on this mission. I'm a scientist, not an explorer. Take me out of this awful place right now! The Borg attacked and we had to abandon ship. We were floating here, waiting, and then... Undine! They came out of nowhere! Tore through us like tissue paper! We shouldn't have invaded their space! They're so strong! We're weak! Please, take me out of here! Uh... I don't know. It all happened so fast. She insisted on being the last one to leave the ship. I don't even know if she made it out alive. Now, can we leave? The Borg presence is much larger than we anticipated. Nevertheless, our orders are to remove as much of it as possible. Voyager will follow your lead. Is that a Borg Unimatrix? It's enormous! I admit that it is an impressive structure.
We need to report to Starfleet Command immediately. We thought that the Undine were responding to a Borg incursion into their space, but it now appears that the Iconians, or some entity posing as them, has created false Alpha and Beta Quadrant ships and sent them into fluidic space. Clearly, the Undine attacked us because they thought we attacked them first. There is some good news. The spread of the Borg nanovirus has halted, and thanks to the doctor's research, we should be able to prevent future planets from being assimilated in this manner. The Borg will adapt in time, but we have also stopped them from transmitting the technique for Undine assimilation to the Collective. It is possible they could learn how to do so again. We will need to remain vigilant. The Borg in fluidic space were forced to retreat, and logic suggests it will be quite some time before they trouble the Undine again. The end of the Borg attacks in their home might stop the Undine advance into our space. But if the Iconians continued to trick Species 8472 with false incursions, they could decide to invade ours in retaliation. Voyager will take Dr. Cooper and the other survivors back to Earth. I suggest that we all confer with our fleet commanders to determine the next course of action. We have not seen the last of the Undine. <laughs>